compute y of 0.1 given second order differential equation d square y by dx square equal to y cube and y is equal to 10 and dy by dx is equal to 5 at x is a 0 by rang, by rangi kutta method of fourth order this example is very simple okay now first you write second order differential equation that is a d square y by dx square is equal to y cube okay this is called equation number one now now you put dy by dx is equal to z okay and after you differentiate with respect to x this one we get d square y by dx here is equal to dz by dx okay now equation number one becomes this equation number one becomes d square y by dx square means that is a d square by dx means what dz by dx dz by dx okay now dz by dx is equal to this is y cube dz by dx is equal to y cube okay now the first uh, second order differential equation reduced into the first order two differential equation one is a dy by dx z this is a second one now dy by dx is equal to this is a equation number uh, first equation in first order and second equation is a dz by dx is equal to y cube okay now see the initial condition y is equal to 10 dy by dx is equal to 5 at x is equal to 0 okay this is a y is equal to 10 and dy by dx dy by dx means what z z is equal to 5 and x values is 0 okay now we need to calculate y what is the value of y of 0 0.1 now the first one is a we called f of x naught y naught z naught or f of x y z is equal to z this is the first one and second one is a g of x y z this is equal to y cube okay now conditions are y naught is equal to 10 and this is z naught is equal to 5 and this is at x means x naught is equal to 0 this is very simple okay now we need to calculate y of 0 0.1 that is a y of x naught plus h is a formula is a y naught plus 1 by 6 into k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 okay this is equation number 2 we also required h value okay now h is a see y of x naught plus h given that is a y of x naught plus h is 0.1 x naught plus h is equal to given 0.1 what is x naught x naught x naught is a 0 that means h is equal to 0.1 very simple okay now we need k values this is second order differential equation so first k1 required we need to calculate k values k1 is equal to h into f of x naught y naught and z naught using this variable now this is equal to h into h is a point 0.1 and f of x naught y naught f of x naught y naught means f of x y z is a z only okay now f of x naught is a 0 y naught is these values y naught is 10 and z naught is 5 f of x y z is a z only that is a this, this is equal to point 0.1 into f of x y z only z z means consider only 5 into 5 k1 value is a 0.5 next go to the l1 ok so one by one k values l values find it k1 l1 k2 l2 k3 l3 k4 l4 like this l1 is a h into second function g of x0 y0 and z0 ok h value is a 0.1 and g of x0 is 0 y0 is 10 and z0 is 5 and this is second function means this is a g of x y z is equal to what y cube means consider this one 0 0.1 into y cube means 10 cube 10 cube is a thousand thousand into point 0.1 is a hundred this is we get l1 next go to the k2 k2 is a h into of x naught plus h by 2 y naught plus k1 by 2 z naught plus l1 by 2 using k1 l1 values in this k2 and this is equal to h is a 0.1 into f of x naught plus h by 2 x naught is 0 h is a 0 0.1 0 
0.1 by 2 is a 0 0.05 k1 value divided by 2 means 0 0.25 plus y0 y0 is a 10 means it is a 10.25 l1 by 2 100 divided by 2 means 50 50 plus z0 z0 is 5 and this is a 55 okay now k2 is equal to 0 0.1 into f of x y z is a z only means it is into 55 and this is k2 value is a 0.5 5.5 okay next go to the l2 h into g of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k1 by 2 same same portion okay z0 plus l1 by 2 it is the same no change and this is equal to 0 0.1 into g of same values 0 0.05 okay 10.25 and 55 now g of x y z is what y cube only consider x y z this is y cube this is l2 is equal to uh, 0 0.1 into y cube is a 10.25 whole cube now you get l2 value is a 107.7 next go to the k3 k3 is h into f of x0 plus h by 2 and y0 plus next go take k2 and l2 k2 by 2 and z0 plus l2 by 2 like this and this is equal to 0 0.1 into f of x0 plus h by 2 that is value same that is a 0 0.05 and y0 plus k2 by 2 k2 means 5.5 divided by 2 plus y0 now this is a k3 value is 12.75 and uh, z0 plus l2 by 2 this is l2 by 2 plus z0 we get 58.85 now f of x y z is equal to z only 0 0.1 into this one number k3 is equal to 0 0.1 into 58.85 this is equal to k3 value is a 5.885 next step is l3 same but changing second function that is g of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k2 by 2 z0 plus l2 by 2 this is 0 0.1 same values no change okay but consider g of x y z is a y cube means this one l3 is equal to is a 0 0.1 into y cube means 12.25 whole cube and this is equal to l3 value is a 207.27 then finally k4 ok k4 is equal to now h into f of x0 plus h only y0 plus k3 only z0 plus l3 only this is formula this is 0.1 and f of take x0 plus h x0 plus h h x0 is 0 h is a 0 0.1 k3 plus y0 y0 is a 10 plus k3 this y0 plus k3 y0 is a 10 and this k3 values this is 15.885 next is l3 l3 plus z0 z0 is a 5 5 plus this one this is a 112.27 okay now f of x y z is a z only now k4 is equal to 0 0.1 into this is a uh, z f of x y z is z only 112.27 and k4 value is 21.227 okay this is a k4 next is required l4 l4 is equal to h into g of same it is a x, x0 plus h y0 plus k3 z0 plus l substitute the values 0 0.1 into g of x0 plus h that is a 0 0.1 same values it is a 15.8 8 8 uh, 15.885 and uh, this is a 212.27 but g of x y z is equal to y cube only that is a 0 0.1 into y cube 15.885 whole cube now this value is a 400.83
now equation number 2 becomes equation number 2 is a becomes y of x0 plus h means it is a 0 0.1 equal to y0 values substitute y0 y0 is a 10 plus 1 by 6 into k1 value k1 is a 0.5 plus k2 2k2 k2 is a 5.5 plus 2k3 k3 is a 5.885 plus k4 k4 21.227 now this is a y of 0 0.1 is equal to value is a 17.4162 now this is required solution